My name is Crystal. I am 32 years old. I'm Ben. I am 52 years old. I was his family nanny, and now I'm his wife. I fell in love with my kid's nanny. When I first found out that my dad and Crystal were dating, I was definitely surprised. Would it be my first choice? Probably not. Didn't think you were going to marry her. The age gap brings a lot of attention. Crystal likes attention. Sounds really in his bill of tea today, OK. Didn't my dad want to fire you? So we didn't say not to be honest. Feeling they're coming out. A lot of people say that she's a gold digger. I don't disagree. Stop. I actually heard you attention. I think when I was younger, I actually like loved her. I decided to get a nanny because at the time I was a single dad and in order for me to uh, go to work, I needed someone to care for the children. It was definitely not love at first sight. I hated him. My first impression was I hated him. Do not like working for him. As I was working for him, I continued to look for other jobs. He was very rude. I rarely got a hi. What was your first impression of me? You thought I was a terrible nanny. I think you're a great woman. Mm. One day I came in dressed up with makeup on, my hair done, and he couldn't stop looking at me. So I think that was when he fell in love with me. At the time, my son Cash was three and a half and Ben would like play with him and talk to him. I think that's what helped me fall in love because he was just such a good dad. Good morning. Our age gap is 20 years. My friends and family, everyone just thought I was crazy. They're like, what the heck are you doing? This man's 20 years older than you. He has three kids. What are you thinking? At the time, obviously, I was a single mom, so it was just me and Cash. I think me and Ben get along well now, but when I was like eight or nine, I just didn't like him and I resented him because like, I just knew he wasn't like my biological dad. But now I think we have a good relationship. Cashton has uh, been through a lot and um, he's, uh, he's grown up to be a fine young man. When my kids first found out I was dating Crystal, at first they treated it as just you know, another girl that dad's dating, you know. I did unfortunately date a lot of women. It really affected the oldest one the most. She didn't like the idea at all. She said, you went from being my best friend to being with my dad. That's uh, a nice version of saying it. <laughs> she was very upset. <laughs> but we're fine now, so it's okay. So we're getting ready to make some burgers. We're gonna have lunch with Sal and Cash. Sal is my stepson. I was 23 when I started nannying for Sal, and Sal, I believe, was 12. I think Sal's initial reaction was he was happy. But he might say otherwise. I don't know. I truly don't remember. When I first found out that my dad and Chris were dating, I was definitely surprised she was my nanny. Some people thought it was weird that the age gap was really large. My dad brought a lot of women home, so I just thought, it's just another 23 year old he brought home. Crystal spoiled me a lot. She bought me a lot of games and gifts, I guess to bribe me. She was just uh, sometimes spiteful. I guess she was just immature. I didn't really think anything of it. I didn't think that they were gonna get married. Would it be my first choice? Probably not, but uh, that's life, so. So dad, did you always have a crush on Crystal or did it just happen? No, I think it developed into, uh, into a crush. It took a while, like a few months. What did you like about her from the start? I recognized she was good looking. I got to know her, she was a good person. Has a good heart, can't say that, right? Can you say she doesn't have a good heart? I don't know. Like when she hurt you intentionally. Thanks, so. Al. <laughs> really? You think she would hurt you intentionally? Has she hurt you intentionally? I remember her not driving me to school. Oh my God, you're still not over this. She told me she would never drive me to school, but she would drive cash and like, 20 minutes later. Do you think she did that because you're her stepson and Kirsten's not? I don't know the answer to it. I think that's how you feel. If I had to guess. It was like therapy. And do you still hold it against them? Definitely. It sounds like I do. Yeah, I think so. So what made you like my dad? What's not to like? He's a great dad. Did you see that though, at the time? I mean, yeah, he's he was coming home at like 7 p.m., so. Didn't my dad want to fire you? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because I wasn't cooking and cleaning enough, apparently. At all. Or at all. Did, didn't your mom cook one of the dinners <laughs> and brought it home to you? <laughs> oh my God, Sal. Sal's really in his pillow of tea today, okay. <laughs> I thought that was you. Who else would it be? We brought a lot of women home. But she won't let me communicate with the new nannies. I'm gonna lose them how I got out. <laughs>
they would be like, oh, can I have Ben's number? And I'd be like, no, you don't need Ben's number. <laughs> you talk to me. <laughs> no need for that. <laughs> so Sal, how did you feel when you first found out that uh, Crystal and I were dating? He was so happy. I was definitely happy for you for getting a young girl. I didn't think anything of it. Didn't think you were gonna marry her, what? for sure. Just, I think, probably a month prior, you mm -hmm. had the other 22-year-old. What about her? She was nice. She was definitely a mother figure. She cooked? She cooked, she, she cleaned. cleaned. <laughs> well, no, okay. sorry, but... How long did it take you to somewhat accept Crystal as a uh, stepmommy? I think when I was younger, I actually, like, loved her. What's younger? Like, 12 or 13. Mm -hmm. um, oh, you loved her then? I think so. And then you suddenly didn't like her? Oh, so she did things to upset you? Yeah. Not, not drive you to school? Uh, yeah, not drive you to school. Hey, wait. He's still not over that. I don't think he'll ever get over Yeah, no. We've been hearing about this for years. He's gonna graduate college in one year and he's still talking about this. I think my dad and Crystal are good together because the age gap is a lot. It brings a lot of attention. Crystal likes attention, you can tell from her car. A lot of people say that she's a gold digger, obviously, Sal. with my dad for the money. I don't disagree. Stop. My dad definitely spoils her, which is, she likes the lifestyle that my dad gives her. So do I, obviously. But that's definitely a, a big one. Sal's being honest. He's telling you how he feels. Sal's we didn't feeling. say not to be honest. <laughs> feelings are coming out. There was a spicy TikTok that I saw, something about the bedroom or whatever. And I said, I went in the comments and I said, hey guys, this is the guy's son and I'm grossed out. We get a lot of judgment on social media. TikTok is definitely the worst. You know, the typical stuff when you're in an age gap relationship, like, oh, she's a gold digger. He's so ugly. He's so old. What are you thinking? They said he could be your father. I mean, it is true. He could be. Daddy. <laughs> Someone said meal ticket. Is anyone talking about the poor wife and maybe the children that he left for his employee? We do get a lot of comments about they thought I was married and she was the nanny that took me away from my ex-wife. But when I met him, he was already divorced for 10 years, so... And she always feels the need to explain it, right? <laughs> I think for us, we just ignore it because we know the truth and I know that that's not true. Someone said, my husband and I are 20-year age gap. We love you. Same girl. We'll be out like locally and people will come up to us at like bars and restaurants and they'll be like, oh my God, you're that couple from TikTok. And it's nice because most of the time the people that come up to us are other couples that are in age gap relationships. So they're kind of dealing with the same hate. At the end of the day, these people, you know, don't even know us, but people are mean. What about you, Cash? Cash, do your, your friends, friends talk like about it? TikTok? Do they know about TikToks? You don't get like, your mom is so hot. Ah, so you must get that. Yeah. <laughs> I get that with your, uh, my sister too. That's so weird. Oh. So you you have hot sisters and a, a hot stepmom? Okay, enough. That Please makes me stop. proud. That does make me proud. Please stop. <laughs> well, they're my kids and this is my wife. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that concludes that therapy session. There is nothing I dislike about my wife. Serious. She's, um, she's everything to me. I love how much of a provider he is. I think that's my biggest thing. It's like, no matter what, he'll do whatever it takes to provide for me and the kids. I think we balance each other. My strengths are her weaknesses and my weaknesses are her strengths. So together we make a powerful team. I definitely think that the negativity has made us stronger as a couple. We really don't care. We live our lives with our kids and our family and whether you like us or not, too bad. We're gonna keep doing what we do. I'm gonna keep doing what you told me to do. <laughs>